Jones. Yo, what is up guys, DJ Skittles 88 here, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, we've been counting down the top 5 best Ski Mask, the Slump God songs, if you guys don't know who he is, he's one of the best new age rappers in my opinion, he made songs like Catch Me Onside and Baby Wipe, which has about like 50 million views, they both have like 50, 50 million views, and yeah, he's a really cool rapper, he recently got on the 2018 XXL Freshman list, which is really awesome, I wanted to count down the 5 best songs he plays, because there is a lot of songs that I like, there's a lot of like, full albums that I like, like I like of him, but you know, I can only pick 5 because I wanted to make a top 5, so here we are, let's go on to number five and number five is like a soccer mom now this song embodies everything that is good about ski his great beats his really awesome flows his really funny lyrics and it's all in one song which is awesome and yeah this is one of the first songs i've heard of him i've heard uh baby wipe and catch me outside but then i and then i heard this song this is my third song i heard from him and i must say i've thoroughly enjoyed it it's really underrated though it only has about 150,000 views on youtube but is isn't that much compared to a lot of his other songs but I think this is a really awesome song. It's a great introduction to his music. If you haven't heard a lot of his music before, and you guys don't really know what he's about, what he does, what this is like um, shtick, and this song will be a perfect introduction if you kind of, if you want to show like your friend his music. And this is a great song to like make them listen to. All right, let's go on to number four. Number four is one of his most popular songs. It's Baby Wipe. I think this has this has the most views on YouTube. And I think Catch Me Outside is the most views on Spotify, or most listens on Spotify, I think. So Baby Wipe has 46 million views on YouTube, which is a lot. The music video is really cool. It's directed by Cole Banner of Lyrical Lemonade. I think the music video is really awesome. And yeah, it's a really great infectious beat. It's not like a cartoon beat or like a, kind of like a silly, I guess, beat. It's more like an actual trap beat, which is really cool to see him go hard on a trap beat. And it's a really amazing hook. Like, I just catch myself singing the hook all the time. I don't know any of the other words. I just know the how is he feeling bro part. That song, which acts, that part is really good. And it's really funny one-liners. Like, I don't know. I just thought some of, like, the an an analogies and, like, re metaphors and references he says is kind of funny and entertaining. The song itself is really catchy. I don't know why. It's, I think, a really catchy beat and, like, a really catchy hook. And, like, I don't know. Just because the, the way he mixes the song makes it really catchy, I guess. I'm not really sure. But he also writes the beat very well, he flows and rides with the beat like really well. He raps pretty fast, but not like really really fast, you can't understand him, but just fast enough so you're like, oh wow, this is really good, this is fire. And yeah, it's one of his most popular songs like I said, with having 46 million views on YouTube, it's what a lot of people know him for. And yeah, I think it's a really awesome song, I just think it's one of his best songs. Let's go on to number 3, which is Catch Me Outside. This is, I think, this, in my opinion, it's better than Baby Wipe because of the beat. I like the beat kind of like a little bit more because it's more of like a, it's a funky beat. Like it sounds really nice. And it samples off of Missy Elliott's She's a Bee. And I don't think that song's good too. But this song, he just destroys that beat. He absolutely annihilates it. It sounds really, really good. The beat is really unique and it sounds great. But also, it's a really catchy hook too. And it sounds a little bit more mainstream, like the music video and the song is all, in itself is all, it's a little bit more mainstream than its usual, like sort of more underground songs, I guess. But it still does, it still sounds great, and it's still unique to like the other really mainstream artists, like Lil Pump and stuff, and people like Smoke Perp, I guess. They have like kind of like generic, sound, like in, some, in my opinion, they sound kind of generic. Like a if you think of like a new age rapper, you think of Smoke Perp and Lil Pump, but Ski Mask is a really like different, outside of the box sort of like music style i guess and yeah it's a really catchy hook on this song and it's really interesting and funny ad libs like i know a lot of the songs have interesting and funny ad libs but on this song i can it really stands out to me and yeah i think it's a bit slower like i said it's kind of more mainstream because it doesn't really have that little like that fast kind of like weird funky hook or funky um flows but it's still awesome it's still it still has really good and, and unique flows it is ski mask it is a ski mask song but it is slower so people can understand what he's saying and kind of like sing the song a bit more and yeah, it's also one of his most popular songs with 43 million views on YouTube and I think about like 50 million plays on Spotify or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but yes, yeah, so let's go on to, I think the song I've heard like the most probably because I just put it on repeat like every single day. It's, it's Jurag Flows. It's one of his older songs, I guess. He hasn't been really rapping for that long. I think about like two years he's kind of gone like, I don't know, people are saying he's gone like, I guess mainstream or something two years ago. He started rapping profession. I don't. I don't know what. Like I don't know something about that. But like, this came out last year. About like I think it was like May or March, early 2017. And this has 
one of the most insane flows I've ever heard from Ski Mask. This, this song just goes so, so hard. The beat is just insane. The beat drop is insane. Everything about it is just crazy. The whole song is just insane. In general, it is just so hype. It is such a hype song. I listen to it when I'm in a bad mood and I instantly turn up the song. It's just it's just so good. The mixing is it is really good. It's some of the fastest rapping he's ever done. There's a list by CDTV Productions who I really enjoy. Even the top 10 or top 5 fastest Ski Master Slump God songs or like verses and stuff. And this is on it. I think it's one of those like I think it's like number one or in the top five or something. But this song just sounds amazing in general. I don't know why. It just sounds like it just he switches up his flows constantly to make it more interesting. And this song is just so good. I just love it so so much. And number two, number one and two are kind of interchangeable. But I had to put one song at number one. And so let's go on to number one. Like I said, number one and number two. I kind of like them both. But I'm gonna put this at number one just because for the sake of the video. But that is Billy and Mandy. So if you guys don't know what Billy and Mandy is, it was um, a TV show on Cartoon Network. He samples a lot of shows from, a lot of, yeah, a lot of shows from Cartoon Network for some reason. But I mean, it's really awesome because the beats are usually really good. Now this has my favorite ski, ski mask, the um, Slump God beat sampling. The beat just sounds really amazing. I do think it's better than Jurek flows, but I think that the flow and like the lyrics and all and like the content of his rapping is better on Jurek flows. But Billy and Mandy, the mu it, musically it sounds a bit better in my opinion. And yeah, the song just sounds really hype. And the lyrics aren't really that special. There's not like a lot of like intricate or like, I guess, entertaining lyrics, really. But it's the way he says it in the flow and of like the style of the song and the vibe of the song is really amazing. I really love how it sounds. And yeah, it's really underrated. It has only 250k views on YouTube. I think it was in his Drowned in Designer album but i think it deserves like 10 million views it's just an insane song it goes so hard i really like the second part i think the second verse is better than the first verse because he actually like starts rapping fast and starts just saying like just one like set of uh lyrics he actually has like a whole i guess like i don't know a whole bunch of lyrics that he says which is really nice because when he raps f like fast it's really awesome to hear him it's just like, awesome to hear and i like how it sounds but yeah, everything about it is just so damn fire. Like, number one and number two is probably, yeah, there is best songs I've heard. I haven't heard all of Ski Master Slump God songs, but I will try to listen to more of his songs. I listen to some of the more underground ones, and I think the more underground ones are probably the, the best. Because Jurek Flows and Billy and Mandy have about like 500k views in total, or something like that. Like, under a million views, and I don't know why. They're just so good. I don't know why people haven't found them yet, but hopefully this video will, like, Introduce you to some of these songs, introduce you to Scheme as a slump that if you haven't heard them already. And yeah. Okay guys, so no, while I was editing this, this I kinda forgot my outro. And so here it is. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a big fat thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys so so much for watching. If you have any ideas, thoughts, opinions, leave it in the comment section down below. That'll help me out a lot. Turn on the little notification bell to be notified whenever I make a video or I stream. I started streaming a lot more now. Because I'm playing this game called Bloom CD6, which is really awesome. But yeah, make sure to comment and leave a like and subscribe and all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Beauty School is 88 out. I'm Session